are live at Spike Hill at the college, the Dreamway College Music Journal Showcase, and we have the United Ghosts with us up next. Uh, let's go ahead and, and get everybody's name, and we'll we'll start the interview. I am Jason. I'm Axel. I'm Shasabi. Shambi. So uh, you guys just got done play, playing a set here at the College Music, excuse me, the Dreamway College Music Journal Showcase. Uh, you guys are based out of a light. Uh, you guys been to New York before? No, we've never played here before. Really? Yeah, we've all been here before, but it's our New York debut was on Tuesday for the first CMJ show, and it's only our second show here. Nice. And how's New York been treating you guys so far? Great. It's been great. I love it. Yeah, really fantastic. No, yeah, really like showed its best colors this time around. Lovely weather and really nice people and a lot of support from the other bands. Right. You guys are based on LA. When I found out that I was going to be interviewing you, the first thing that came to my mind is I wonder who came up with the name United Ghosts. That was a combination of um, both of us. Sean, Sean, and I were like the first two, like the nucleus of the band, and then you know Jason and Sean came in pretty soon after. But I think that was just a cut and paste thing where you write down all sorts of words that you like. <laughs> and then cut them up and then throw them up in the air and see what sticks and you know United was in there and Ghost was in there and like it's just... That's the one that we all just kind of gravitated yeah. towards. Yeah. Uh, I like it, I can see why. So I wanted, for people who aren't familiar, why don't you describe your sound to uh, people who may have never heard you before? It's definitely rock and roll, but it has a dreamy edge to it. We don't want to put labels on it too much. I mean, we take great care of the sounds and we definitely don't hit people over the head, and it's very, it's very much based around two lead vocals, which is an unusual thing. It's like, harmonies and like trading back and forth between guy and girl vocals. Layers of beautiful guitars, like both um, Jason and Axel have these pedal boards that are literally just like magic boxes. Like they come up with the most amazing sounds. Axel also plays twelve string, which is really beautiful. Uh, Sean the Kugash drummer. Yeah, we go. We, and, we always have a backbeat. Yeah. I mean, we really like to have it shake. We've know, also got like some beats and loops through uh, Ableton Live. It's a little bit of electro, just kind of coming in every now and then. Nice. Uh, I'll probably ask poses to each of you individually. Is there a favorite song that you that you enjoy performing? Let's start over here. Oh um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like them all. Oh yeah. Sorry, I know that. Yeah, it's not exciting. Yeah. It's true. But the cookie cutter answer, I like it. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm actually with him, you know. It's our set now that's like, it's like one tune almost. We've been playing it for the last four weeks, and the more we play it, the more it becomes just one homogenous ride. Same? Yeah, I feel the same. I mean, there's definitely highlights. I've always been very attracted to Unhypnotized, I think, is my favorite one. I like that one a lot, too. So, yeah. but yeah, I think the way the set has been playing out, it's definitely... A, you, you're in for a journey. And speaking of playing, you've been playing a lot. I've been looking at your uh, your website here. You guys just got back from a tour. Uh, you're out in Europe. Played a lot of dates. Let's start right here. Uh, in Manchester, Glas Glasgow, London, Amsterdam, Berlin, Prague, Paris. How was how was that? I mean, amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tough. Heartbreaking. Glorious. Yes. Up against it, and then you know, paying off. Yeah, all of those things. Uh, each city, I mean, you know, each city is uniquely different. But was there one uh, one particular stop that stood out? There was a few that stood out. Um, again, like I don't like to pick one over the other. They were all amazing in their own way. But Berlin, Amsterdam, um, London. There was a few like really special. Prague, was on Prague, Prague yeah. yeah. Prague also. We didn't know what to expect in Prague. I mean, that's uncharted territory for bands like us. And, we walked into this gorgeous old movie palace that almost had like, probably had like seven, eight hundred kids, and the main band drew really well, and the, a lot of people were already there for our set, and it was basically like a stadium stage to play. It was amazing. Amazing sound system too. It's yeah. like a brand new sound system, so yeah. it was booming so much. Like when Sean started playing the drums, he just started playing it like ah. Like getting so it back from Sean. Out of that yeah. uh, it was kind of like what we've always wanted. I mean, we're we play such a small room and we have such a big sound that we're actually, we're good at playing to the room no matter the size, but this room was bigger than anything we had ever been in, so. Yeah. Yeah, Prague is, 
was it for me as far as the show and the people and the hanging out? You know, some cities. Absent after. Well, the absent after, yeah. <laughs> and, and the dance party. And the, yeah, I don't have to ask you what the craziest thing that happened on the Europe tour. We'll just leave it at absent. Um, so the on the. Uh, uh, as far as so you've played you've played a bunch of places obviously where is one place that you would like one venue that has always been a dream that you know you know what if we play here we can know it just will be thought about for years mm. Mm. good question I think there's some in each city I mean I'd love to play the Troubadour with this band in LA I think that would be I mean I'd rather play the Staples Center but <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's the next step but if down, there's yeah. a, a bigger venue that we haven't played yet Troubadour was, uh, when I first moved to L.A. from Boston, that was the place that I wanted to play the most, and I got a chance to actually play there a few times now, so. But for me in L.A., I mean, I guess each city would have Maybe I, I want to play the Forum in London. I'll play the Forum. I used to live in London, I was a London boy for over 10 years of my life, and that would be a dream come true. It was really cool. So that actually segues into my next question, is how did you all find each other? Craigslist. Yeah, <laughs> More than just... Roommates. <laughs> it's like yeah. it's yeah. good for more than just finding roommates and old furniture. Yeah. Yeah. No, Sean and Jason and I had played together before in a previous panel, so that was great to start with. But that was years ago, and then something happened and the band imploded, and I was by myself basically making music and Sean came across Shaw and then I, I wanted to get the best people I could think of involved, and I suggested. Those two, and like you know, she vibed with them as much as I, you know. So yeah. I'm having a moment again. Oh no, Sean's crying again. Yeah. Is this, no, does this happen no. often? Really, I was scraping the barrel. I don't, you know. So I'm very no, no one else wanted to play with me. That was, that was oh, I always like hearing Craig's list and such stories. So this is that today's performance is kind of special today. Um, tell the people, tell the people why. Because we're already drunk at two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> No, the last it's show the tour. The last show, yes. the tour, yeah. We've been out for like four and a half weeks. Yeah, we haven't killed each other yet, and we're still getting along. Is this is the longest time that you've been on tour together. Oh yes. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of miles, man. A lot of miles. <laughs> so what's next, man? Back to LA, and then and then what? Sleeping. Yeah. We have a show in San Francisco in like a month. <laughs> At the bottom of the hill, that's going to be really cool. But uh. Yeah, we we'll try to book like a little homecoming show in LA, but we'll see if it makes sense before Christmas, or we'll do it in, like right in the beginning of the new year or something like that. So. Great. And how did you get involved with us, uh, even Dreamwave? He found us. Someone just described him outside as a, a bloodhound <laughs> for new music that he like senses when something new and cool is up. It was so nice. I mean, he um, when we only had a seven inch out and no one knew us yet, he made us like one of the top three bands of the new year. He, he was such a champion. I don't know how he found us. I don't know. Well, no. it, sounds, it sounds like everything everybody else who's uh, I've interviewed today has said Steve has Steve has found us. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Fantastic. So where can where can we find your music? Unitedghost.com. Easy. You can buy vinyl there, CDs. Um, we also we're on Spotify, on iTunes. If you're in Europe, we also have distribution through Cargo. So if you ask good local record shops, they will actually have it on the shelf, the CD and the vinyl. And, and how do you guys feel about new music uh, distribution, like Spotify and such? Good, good for bands like yourself coming it's, up. It's good, it's good for yeah. spreading the word, but they should pay us more money. Yeah. Yeah. Some services pay better than others. So. But you know what? We had people come out at even in Europe, that heard us on Spotify and went to the website and said, oh my gosh, they're playing in my city and came down and told us that story. So, yeah. 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 No, I, it's a good thing. It's a, it's yeah, a great yeah. thing. I mean, again, you know, it's nice getting the, case, you know, the, the cash, but I love hearing that. Like this random, oh, just came up on, on the... Yeah, we played in London. There's like kids from Manchester that traveled down knew all the lyrics. We played in like a remote town in England called Basing Stoke and someone I traveled and got a hotel room just to see us and stuff like that. So, yeah. it's, it's kind of cool how it spreads yeah. around sometimes. Yeah, it has to feel good. So, uh, a social media we can find you on uh, Twitter, United Ghosts. Yes. Yeah. And of course, there's the United Ghosts page yeah. as well. So, it's a pleasure. Best of luck to all of you. Take a nice little uh, break now. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, man. And, yeah. Uh, what's next? I'll play you all Cheers. together. Cheers. Cheers. All right. <laughs> I'm going to